After two weeks of designing and conducting several experiments, finally, the awaited time has come. Hey there, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to Muhammad Ismail Hobbies channel. Uh, today we got an exciting project. We're going to show you how to make your own a proper budget-friendly DIY sequential shifter. That's right, a proper, hefty one, a budget one, as cheap as possible. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first is the easiest one, the software. You have to prepare your Arduino and plug it to your PC. And then go to SimHub, you go to Arduino and open Arduino Setup Tools. There will be a pop-up windows and you choose the start from scratch. Okay. Here, uh, first of all, you choose the board. I use Arduino Pro Micro, and then choose the setup board. For me, it is COM8, and I would like to custom uh, my gamepad PID and names. And you can type here whatever you want. Silver. Yes, this is a sample and. You have to checklist here for the gamepad. It is pretty important because if you choose here, your sequential shifter is gonna be auto detected uh, on the game. And then you scroll down, and here you find the additional button and choose number two number uh, of the button that will be used here you choose which pin do you use uh, i would like to use pin number two and pin number four and the setting of everything else is the same and then you check this here and upload to your arduino that's it okay first is the lever the handle i will take the m8 bolts take the little part light it and then a spring ring
okay in this step it is important uh, to find the correct spot for the sensor and the magnet here uh, for me it is already been attached but it is the incorrect way it should be here I just uh, put it like this to give you a demonstration how I uh, find the correct spot for the sensor and how to do it it is uh, we have to attach the pivot first The shifter, the handle will be moved like this, and then the correct way to put the magnet is in this hole. This is already been attached by me, but it will be switched next. I will show you how to get the correct spot for the sensor. So I will. Uh, get the screw here and put it on the hole and then I just move it around like this until I get some mark on the plate okay I attach it deattach it and you can see here it is the mark how the movement of the screw before and then this is the correct spot to place the sensor like this and for this side is like this So let's move on to the next symbol.
Okay. Don't forget to give it a grease to make it smooth. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this tutorial has been informative and inspiring you. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your sim racing buddies. For more sim racing content and future DIY projects, subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you will never miss out. Feel free to leave any question and suggestion in the comments below. Until next time, wassalam.